Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a Chucky inspired makeup look for Halloween. So every year for Halloween I like to watch all the Chucky movies and I definitely wanted to do a Tiffany inspired makeup look today. I've gone for that grungy gothic 90s inspired makeup look. I think that makeup just really suits the character. I will be filming a female version of Chucky as well that will be coming up very very soon. So if you want to know how to do this makeup look then just keep watching. So the very first thing I'm doing is applying a wig cap and I'm just taking this wig as well. This is a blonde bob wig. I kind of brushed out the curls to make it like a little bit wavy but not too much, more of a flick. And then I just deepened up the roots. I'm now moving on to my eyebrows and I'm taking the Urban Decay B6 Priming Spray and the Pear Transparent Soap. And I'm basically going to add a bit of soap to the spoolie here and lay them flat to my skin. Now the brows I'm trying to create today are very pencil thin with hardly any arch. Very thin 90s brows. So as thin as you can possibly get it, I'm basically brushing the hairs down towards my lid. And that way it's going to compress the brows together and make it much much thinner and less full. Once I've done the brows and I'm happy with the shape, I'm moving on to my Pinky Paradise contact lenses in blue. These are just a light blue colour, so they give a very minimal effect. For my foundation, I'm taking the PS Double Coverage Matte Foundation from Primark. This is one of my favourite drugstore foundations, it's very full coverage. This foundation is slightly lighter for me at the moment, but I am going to darken it up with some powder later on. But for now, I'm just taking a beauty sponge and I'm just going to press this into the skin. And then to set the foundation, I'm taking the W7 Sheer Loose Powder in a bisque colour. And it's like a little bit darker than my natural skin tone, just to dilute that foundation colour and bring it back more down to life. Just makes it seamlessly blend into the skin a lot better. To contour my skin, I'm taking the MAC Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder in Golden Rinse. And I'm going to add this into my cheekbones, down the sides of my temples and along the forehead as well. Just to give that rounded appearance and sharp contoured look. The makeup look I'm doing for Tiffany is the doll version, so you want to go extreme for this look. Moving on to the eyeshadows and I'm taking the Violet Boss Holy Grail palette. So I'm taking the eyeshadow called Wine and Dine, which is this beautiful cranberry pinkish red colour, and I'm going to apply this into the crease. I'm going to keep this very rounded in the eye shape and just blend this upwards. When you blend out the colour it looks very pink, but the more you add into the crease, the deeper it gets. Then I'm moving on to the eyeshadow called Teddy Bear, which is this deep matte dark chocolate brown colour with a slight hint of purple in it. And I'm going to apply this to the outer corner and the inner corner of my lids, creating like a halo eye and leaving the blank space in the middle bare. I'm just going to pack this on with a flat brush just to make sure that's all pigmented in them spaces there. Then I'm taking a little brush underneath the eyes here just to blend along the lash line just to smoke it out a little bit more.
Then I'm taking a blending brush and applying a little bit of that colour into the crease, blending over top of Wine and Dine, just to give it that really nice smoky look. Then I'm using the MAC Extra Dimension Duo Eyeshadow and I'm taking the purple eyeshadow called Stolen Moment. It's a beautiful purple shimmer colour. I'm just going to press that on with my finger just to get maximum pigment. Using the Binky London Eyeliner Pencil in black, I'm going to line my lash line, keeping it very rounded and also applying this on the waterline, just to really smoke it out and grunge it. Adding a tiny little beauty mark above the lip here, which Tiffany has in the film. Then using the Barry M High Viz Water Activated Colour in Burnt. So this is a water activated paint and I'm just going to use that B6 Priming Spray I used before and an angled brush just to colour in the brows now. So we've already had the shape, this is just to literally add the colour. So Tiffany's eyebrows are very dark compared to her hair colour. So I'm going in with a black colour and I'm just going to fill them in. Now I'm going to move on to my lips and I'm taking the MAC's PowerPoint Eye Pencil in Stubborn Brown. Even though this is an eye pencil, you can still use this for multiple uses and I'm going to use this to line my lips. It gives that beautiful purple brown colour. I'm going to really emphasise the cupid's bow to make it look more doll-like. Then moving on to the lipstick, this is the limited edition MAC Magic of the Night lipstick in dark side. You can still get this lipstick colour though, just not in this packaging. And I'm going to apply this to the lips. For my blush today, I'm using the NYX blush in Mocha, which is this beautiful cherry red colour. I'm just going to apply this to the cheekbones. This adds a beautiful effect that ties in beautifully with the eyeshadow as well. Add a little bit to the nose as well. And then moving on to the highlighter, I'm taking the Balm's Merry Luminizer. This is my favourite highlighter ever and I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks, down the centre of my nose and a little bit underneath the arches on my brows. For my lashes, I'm going to use the Carter Beauty After Dark Mascara and I'm going to apply some of this to the top and the lower lashes. Moving back to that bronzing powder, I'm going to add two little dimples here. I'm going to start defining my smile crease marks and then defining my nose by the sides of my nose, creating a little button on the top of the nose and the sides here. So I just went off camera and I did her little tattoo that she has and make sure you have this because this is a very iconic look for Tiffany. And then speaking of lashes, I'm moving on to two pairs today. I'm going to use the Third McCann Lashes Florentina Flirt for the top of the lashes. These are very dramatic and big lashes. And then I'm taking the Pinky Paradise Lashes in 001 for my lower lashes which helps give that dull appearance. And then I'm just going to add final touches, which is a little black choker, a Tiffany necklace if you have one, and a black leather jacket and you are good to go. And that is it, that's a finished look for Tiffany, Bride of Chucky. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love the Chucky movies, let me know down below which is your favourite Chucky movie. I have to say, Bride of Chucky is my favourite. Like I said before, I will be doing a female version of Chucky, so keep an eye out for that. That will be coming very, very soon. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one. Thanks, guys.